I'm going to be honest with y'all. I had no clue who this woman was until it was tagged to me in the post on Twitter. And the only reason I'm doing this video is because of some comments that she made, at least on Twitter, that has come back to the surface. So this woman's name is Rachel Lang, and apparently she's a model out of New York. Or I don't know if she's from New York, but she models for a company or companies in New York. And now she has come um, under fire because of some tweets that she made that contained the N word. But apparently it looks like it, she did more than just that when it comes to her old tweets. Keep telling people the Internet is undefeated. I think the only time the Internet was ever defeated, quote unquote, was when Michael Jackson passed away and the Internet literally froze like you couldn't check anything because everything was literally locked up. You couldn't really Google anything. You couldn't really tweet anything like Twitter was. I mean, the Internet was really in a lockdown mode for just a brief moment. I think that was the only time it was ever defeated. But when it comes to these other people, it's very undefeated. And this woman right here is no different. A New York City model and the rumored paramour of actor Dylan O'Brien has issued an apology after social media users recently unearthed controversial tweets she, she shared in the past, including posts with the N-word. On Monday, Rachel Lang of Elite Model Management New York City, or NYC, said she was quote-unquote mortified and ashamed of her old posts. So you were mortified and ashamed of your old posts, but you weren't mortified and ashamed to tweet them. She felt in the right mind or in not in her right mind or in that moment to tweet them. She didn't feel some type of way then. But now that it's come back to the surface, now she's ashamed. We, like I said, we keep telling people the Internet is undefeated. You put something out there unless you can find a way to get it removed. It's out there forever. I would like to wholeheartedly apologize for past tweets of mine. I am mortified and ashamed that they exist and am truly disgusted that I ever spoke that way. Lang tweet posted on Twitter. All I can say is that I hear all of, hear you all and I'm sorry for the pain I've caused and contributed to. She's only sorry because they got exposed. Remember, these tweets were out there for a while. So she didn't care. She only cared that they got exposed and she has to make this statement to try to clear herself which let's be real here this is a pc woman she's going to walk away from this it's going to be one of them here today gone tomorrow type of story i highly doubt she's going to get dropped from any kind of contracts or any kind of print ads or any modeling gigs because she's already out there so i guess they figure it's cheaper to keep her I want to make it abundantly clear that I take full responsibility. She continued. I was extremely ignorant. And while I do not remotely resonate with the things I once said, there is zero justification for my ever having said them. I understand that the significance that my words have, and I'm deeply sorry for the hurt I have caused. She concluded Lang's questionable tweets gained major traction when pop culture news site, pop factions posted about the ordeal on Twitter. Dylan O'Brien's girlfriend, Rachel Lang, is currently being called out for being racist after multiple tweets of her using the N-word resurfaced online. She has since deleted the tweets and blocked a few people on TikTok who called her out. Now, it's funny. She said she went on, on and blocked a few people who called her out, but she said in another statement that she was sorry about the hurt that she's caused to people. So why are you blocking the people that called you out? Those are obviously the people that you probably offended. The site tweeted Saturday, followed by a video featuring screenshots of Lang's decade old social media posts. In the post from 2013 to 2016, Lang, a white woman, casually dropped the N word. How in the hell is a N word supposed to get some decent sleep when there are 17 cuckoo clocks in this house? Lang posted in November 2013. Now she's tweeting this as a white woman. And she's referring to herself as that word. Like I said, th this is actually going into the territory of why a lot of PC people want to use that word. I guess they just like the way that it sounds. But the thing is, still don't say it or say it and suffer the consequences. And it doesn't matter how long ago you said it. If we can pull receipts that you said it, then they're going to use that against you. I'm literally such a. And this is what she said. P word. I'm going to just leave it like that. Oh, my gosh. Lang wrote in another post from September 2013. I have various pictures of small black children in my phone. 
Now, that to me is worse than her saying the N word. Let me read that again. I'm literally such a P word. Oh, my gosh. I have various pictures of small black children in my phone. That's something that she tweeted or in a post somewhere back in September of 2013. She referred to herself as a person who messes with children and how ironic the children that she's referring to as far as images on her phone are black children. Like I said, that's why I said the N word one that's that was small compared to what this to what she just said here. The tweets have been deleted by Monday, but Pop Faction told the Daily Beast that the publication verified the post in an extensive search before they were wiped from the model's Twitter profile. Twitter user at Dob Dobson. I'm guessing that's Dobson Van Boulevard who claimed to have helped bring Lane's post to light, told the Daily Beast Lane blocked her on TikTok after she called the model out. Over the past three days, Lane has deleted almost 200 tweets, all of her tweets using slurs, etc. Lane had allegedly shared a variety of offensive posts making violation jokes, posting transphobic comments, and using homophobic slurs. And they did pull up a lot of her tweets. I'm looking at them right now. The Daily Beast also found that Lang engaged with offensive social media posts. On October 28, 2013, Lang liked a reply to her that said, Hashtag little nigglet. Anyone who knows me knows that I've always wanted a black kid like this. And they put in parentheses, nigglet is an offensive term combining the N-word and the racist pick a ninny trope. Celebrity gossip sites have speculated that Lang is dating Dylan O'Brien, who started Team Wolf from 2011 until 2017. According to Pop Sugar, the pair were seen holding hands during the Paris Fashion Week. Representatives for Lang, O'Brien, and Elite Model Management NYC did not immediately return the Daily Beast request for comment Monday. They need to drop her. Because then, if they don't, especially knowing what this woman has tweeted, they're basically going to be co signing. What she said, I said it was one thing of her saying the N word, but when she said that thing about her being a P word and her having pictures of small children in her phone and then referring to black people or black children as little nigglet. Yeah, she's telling you on her. She's telling herself. She's telling on herself about who she is and how she feels about black people. Can you imagine her tweeting that stuff like that and then her entering? And I don't know when she entered the modeling industry i don't know if she entered it after this or why or did she enter this while she was doing this or before but imagine how she is or how she was when she had to work around black models and these thoughts were floating through her head this woman is not only a racist but she's also very creepy that what that p word post literally got me she is sick I don't care if she made these posts back in 2013. The fact that she made it and left it up for the world to see. She never removed it. That, those tweets were floating around for 10 years, almost 10 years until she just recently got exposed and called out on it. Now she wants to be sorry. Again, she's only sorry because she got caught and she got exposed. That's how a lot of them do. A lot of them aren't really genuinely sorry for what they did. They're only sorry because they got caught in the act. And she is no different. But I just have the strong, the strongest inkling that nothing will happen to her. Like there, this, is, this is one of the things that's going to pop up right now. And then by next week, something else is going to happen. My, maybe not even next week. In the next couple of days, something's going to happen. And then you won't hear about this anymore. Because it's not like she's this big, big name. Like I said, I never heard of this woman before. The only reason I'm doing this is because of the context of the story itself.